the industry where all the hottest stacks are haunted in their photos by an opaque washing machine creeping closer and closer behind them. What? No! I can't be washed up already! I haven't gotten to that point in my drug addiction where I'm walking around in broad daylight yelling, My sunshine, you see my sunshine? You're supposed to be a role model. Don't judge me, love me. Top 40. The hottest, most relentless, unapologetically satanic promotion of the seven deadly sins repeated over and over again, year after year. Jesus Christ. The number two song in the charts is called Heathens. Oh, it's Hard Scheisen. I mean, where do you go from Beyonce's 7-Eleven? How do you make even shittier music than total fucking gibberish? Sein answer is to replace actual singers in the chorus with geese that have horns taped around their beaks. Beethoven is overrated. There's only one musical prodigy. And his name is John C. <laughs> So hot right now! Those horns you hear at Mexican restaurants when you've got diarrhea, but it's reversed, so it gives you that feeling of. Oh, Scheiße, sein poo poo is going back up, sein stinky. This is what 300 years of musical progress from Bach sounds like. Und I love it! Just like North Koreans are constantly told over their radios. Kim Jong un being a suicida. Except our fanciful bullshit is. Okay, so Sia is the most talented musician in the world. Later. See ya, Rabio. He's a country. See ya, he's a singer. I love how she, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, doesn't, yeah, show her face, like, ever. Yeah, have you ever noticed that, like, all the geniuses do something heaps quirky like that? Oh, yeah, she's definitely up there with MJ, Prince. How did she ever think to carbon copy exactly what that dicky knee puppet did for 20 years on Hey Hey It's Saturday? Where do you get the inspiration for your songs, Sia? Well, I usually choose a one solid concept. I see a chandelier. So then I'm like, oh, I know, how could I use that? That's a strong title. Uh, can I just say, I love you, Sia. You're a genius. Staring at the most shiny object in the room. You're a triple threat. Singer, songwriter, moth. And how long did it take you to write Titanium? It was like around four, 40 minutes, I think. Yeah. Well, all right, just back up a second. Back up, girl. <laughs> so what you're saying is every time we listen to one of your songs, it's just your brain's vomit raining down on the entire planet at once, like... From the chandelier! Genius! Not demonic enough, apparently, the pop music devolved from give peace a chance to... I'm in the club drinking motherfucking alcohol. Motherfucking alcohol. Fuck! Had to go even one step further than that and morph into a bragging contest of who's the whiniest little bitch. Like, I guess the inspiration for my new album was looking at a bunch of those first world problem memes that were big, like, a few years ago. And I remember thinking, like, whoa, you know, like, whoa. I don't get that this is supposed to be a joke at all. I'm stressed out. Fuck off. Completely self-absorbed brat after completely self-absorbed brat replacing narcissism, which unsettling enough, but at least built skyscrapers, Microsoft, and of course the extremely durable fashion label G-Unit. All the productive parts of narcissism pulped out and replaced with this vulnerable narcissism shit. Just millionaires passively bitching about other millionaires and then whining you don't pay for it. All clearly future mental patients as the insane use the word I ten times more than the general population, and I is all these emotionally stunted codeine addicted five-year-olds can barely comprehend while the planet melts around them, to which none of these Pixar seagulls devote even a single bar to because they genuinely think the biggest problem facing humanity is... We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. Breed men are from Mars, women are from Venus, and shut, shut the fuck up. Force pumped into the public consciousness out of this auditory sewerage system purely because it's easier to market to mildly depressed zombies sapped of all but the barest of will to live, so they can keep consuming with a barrage of wet lettuce assaults about... How good was that? Hayley Steinfeld. You'll remember that name in five years, won't ya? Sapped of all motivation for life. Can't muster energy to flick stations. Good, then buy this dishwashing liquid. If it gets in your eyes, you only go partially blind. Yeah, I should put that in my eyes. You should be at your toilets. That sounds going to be the next geese horn. <laughs> Top 40, the official anthem to societal collapse. Please press the subscribe button now. Come on.